Sitting here, I'm Josh Frank, and this is on the screen live from Barcelona. I'm Manuela. <laughs> Manuela, the illustrator of Giraffes on Horseback Salad, and I'm Josh Frank, the uh, author. Standing in for Tim Heidecker uh, is a is a, a Salvador Dali's diving suit. Uh, at this uh, uh, unboxing of of our book, Salvador Dali and the Marx Brothers in uh, Giraffes on Horseback Salad. It's, it's pretty exciting that we, have, that we have the book here. Exacto, it's super excitante, very exciting. Algo que hemos estado esperando durante toda esta gran aventura. I don't know what you just said, but I'm so glad you, that, that um, our Spanish friends are gonna know what you said. Um, I can only guess. Uh, one of the kind of cool things about doing this book with Manuela is that uh, I only speak English and, and she speaks obviously Spanish, she's uh, from Spain, and, um, but she speaks much better English than I could, you know, try and speak Spanish. So really, the, 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 we were able to write a 250 page uh, illustrated graphic novel uh, without uh, speaking the same language, which I think is a testament to um, sort of our artistry uh, collaborative ability together. I thought it was really special that we were able to tell this story um, really without, you know, being able to speak very clearly the same uh, word language, but uh, the artist language we were really connected on. Uh, and I thought that was really special. Of course, it helped that we had Google Translator to go back and forth a lot of the time with more specific uh, aspects of the book. So this is a really cool joint collaboration between uh, a Spanish uh, illustrator and an American writer. And also, I think we need to give credit to the, the website that brought us together which was, uh, I, I believe it's pronounced Behance, is that right? Behance. It's an amazing tool because when I was looking for the perfect person to, to, to create a new Marx Brothers uh, movie uh, based on a lost uh, Salvador Dali screenplay, I went to that site and I typed in Spain graphic novel illustrator and you popped up <laughs> um but um so I, I i that was very lucky and uh it's actually a great site for people to know about so we're gonna open the uh the first advanced copy uh of our book that uh i received manuela is gonna get her own advanced copy uh in the coming week and we're going to do another unboxing. We're going to do the, the Spain edition of the unboxing. Uh, but this is the American edition of, of the unboxing of uh, Manuela Portega, uh, Tim Heidecker, Josh Frank's uh, graphic novel, Salvador Dali's Giraffes on Horseback Salad. So here we go. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Put your hand, put your hand on the... On, on the thing. Here, put your hand out. Here we go. Yep, ready? Ah! <laughs> All right. Muy bien. And there it is. See the cover? And there's the back cover. When reality and dreams go to war, love is the greatest weapon of all. I gotta say, me and you can't take credit for that tagline. That was all our publisher, Quirk. Quirk Books is this amazing publisher that we were so lucky to, to, um, to get as the publisher of our book. Uh, Quirk has put out some amazing stuff. They only do 25 books a year. 
there, you know, many publishers do hundreds of books a year, uh, but Quirk is uh, known for just picking 25 books per year to focus on, so we're really grateful and, and proud to be one of those 25 books, and I mean, it just looks beautiful. It's a hardcover, um, and yeah, they came up, they came up with our, our movie, because it is, it's a movie, it's a lost Marx Brothers movie written by Salvador Dali, and we... We brought it to life and made it made the first new Marx Brothers movie since Love Happy, uh, which was many decades ago, and brought Salvador Dali's lost piece of art um, to the world. We did that, <laughs> and um, so let's open it up. And uh, here I'll show the illustrator first the pages before I show the. Oh, look at that. It's the, your double page spread. It's the opening double page spread of the book, which is one of my favorite images from the book um, when, they, when they go to war. And uh, that's, that's the first thing you see. And then uh, they just did, and they just, they did such a, a great job, didn't they, with the layout? Yes. Um, how, how did you manage to do 250 pages of, of graphic novel illustration in pretty much 12 months? How, you, that was, I mean, I, that's, I've never heard of anyone doing such incredible, intricate, uh, work in such a yes. short period of time. Did, yes. did you go insane? In 12 months, it's a work that is really gratifying, both the result and the work. In 12 months, very gratifying. And basically, I wrote the, the, the screen story based on Salvador Dali's notes, and then I created a full screenplay with, uh, you know, action, dialogue, um, just as if we were going to make it as a movie. Um, we, we, I wrote the actual screenplay, and then I sent the screenplay to you, and then you broke down the action and the dialogue, right? And figured out how to move the action along through, through the image, and how to make the dialogue work as well, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, I, and you had never done that before, right? In such a big way, you had never taken a movie script and adapted it into a, a action and dialogue, mm. right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sí, es otro es a uh, crear un mundo a partir de pues un texto pensado pues eso para el cine y generar una a new idea, ¿no? A new world, eh, in image and world, ¿no? En letra e imagen. <laughs> Nosotros nos entendemos. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be after after this, I'm going to put this whole thing through Google Translator, and I'm going to know what you said, but I'm sure it's wonderful. Uh, <laughs> um, the artwork is incredible. Whenever uh, Manuela would send me images based on a page that I had written, my jaw would just drop because it was just some of the most beautiful uh not just graphic novel illustrations, but just illustrations that I had ever seen. And I feel like she captured Groucho and Harpo and Chico in just a perfect way. Uh, I didn't want it to be too comic booky. I I wanted them to feel close to what they would, you know, feel like. I wanted the essence of the Marx Brothers from the movies that I grew up watching, not sort of a caricature of them, and which is hard 
it's hard to do when you're illustrating. It's hard to get that reality. But I feel like you really manage to get the reality of the characters and of the world, even though it's both a graphic novel comic and a very surreal story. It still felt grounded in reality. You know? And obviously I feel like one of my favorite things about your style is <laughs> one of my favorite things about your style is the sort of of the story the story isn't just boxes you you take the story on on a ride it's it's more it's not rigid boxes of a story it's a it's a whoosh of a story, you know? And that's, to me, that's your signature style, you know? Sí, es una manera de hacer diferente, no de, no, en una box, no, en una square, sino cuando rompes y creas un mundo absolutamente dispar, disparatado, surrealista. Um, and so, yeah, so it's just beautiful, and it's amazing to see this story that Salvador Dali came up with a concept. He wrote dozens and dozens and dozens of pages of notes. Um, I spent a number of years collecting all the notes from all the different sources, from all the different hiding places, and then put them together into a coherent movie that Manuela and I along with the adaptation uh, comedic uh, genius of Tim Heidecker, who I'm, I've been a huge fan of for years, and um, uh, he agreed to come on and help us out with, um, uh, with developing the, um, the, 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 the comic uh, the, uh, timing elements, the jokes, and um, he worked to help uh, flesh out uh, that important aspect, which was how do you take sort of the magic of the Marx Brothers comedy and, and, and create new pieces uh, so many years later. And, and with Tim and a number of his friends, he brought them together uh, for a couple days and we sat around a writer's room and went through the whole story and in the moments that Salvador Dali and his notes had written, uh, Marx Brothers Mania Ensues, we, there's, Dali had created bookmarks for Marx Brothers jokes, but they were never written. So Tim Heidecker and uh, some of his awesome friends helped us uh, to imagine what those jokes and what those scenarios might be. And, and, and so all this together has created Giraffes on Horseback Salad, Manuela, and, and my uh, labor of love for, for four, four years in the making uh, that we've been, you know, get, trying to get it to where it is. And I think we're both super excited and thrilled, yes? Okay. Yeah. So do you want to say anything else before before we, we leave our, our, our unboxing. Estoy muy contenta para empezar de haber trabajado la oportunidad de trabajar with Josh, que es un excelente escritor y un excelente guionista. Y estoy sumamente contenta de haber creado esta obra que creo que nos define muy bien tanto a él como a mí en el mundo imaginario que tenemos. Que aún así la dificultad que tenemos a la hora de expresarnos Eh, yo en inglés y yo en español no hemos tenido ningún tipo de problema a la hora de entendernos. We stand eh, very good. Y yo creo que, que el lenguaje ha trascendido a, a poder crear una obra conjunta. Y estoy very, very happy. <laughs> This has been the most, most thrilling and fulfilling creative experience uh, and project that I've had the pleasure and honor of working on. And it's because 
you know, we got to work out with, with a Salvador Dali piece. We got to basically work with the Marx Brothers and I got to do it all with this amazing uh, illustrator and artist. And I'm so, I feel so blessed that I found you and I'm excited to work on whatever we can work on in the future. And I'm excited to, for me and you to share this book with, uh, with the world in the coming months. Yeah. Okay, from us, uh, we'll see you soon when the book comes out. Thanks.